Hey guys, this is Tom Cooler out in Savannah, Georgia. Today I'm going to show you how I go about uh, replacing the metal support stake that comes from the nursery with these little trees. This is a red lime tree on a 942 rootstock, so it's a fast grower. We're going to uh, get rid of this galvanized steel support stake and replace it with one that's a quarter inch diameter made out of fiberglass, much better pole, and that will last probably two years. Uh, this tree uh, is in a three gallon nursery pot. Let's see what all I've got going here. These are my support stakes. I've got some uh, sisal twine. I use sisal, not nylon. I've got some pruning shears. I've got some kitchen shears I'm going to use to cut the twine with. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you'll see these. Oh, send me a message. I'll tell you where to get these uh, gardening stakes. They cost about two bucks a piece. They come in 12 to a pack. I'm gonna put this stake about four inches off the side, uh, four inches away from the tree trunk. I don't want to disturb the core root ball of this young tree here. So we're about four inches off the tree. Slide it all the way down through the medium, that five on one. Tap it down and make sure we're on the bottom of the pot. I want to um, set myself, get me a set of twine here. I double up the twine. I do not use nylon because nylon is really, it cuts into the bark of these young trees. I use sisal twine. Um, get this ready right here. You can see I've got it doubled up now. I'm not tied in the loose ends to hold them together. There it is. Uh, I'm going to come off the ground level about 18 inches up on this tree, and that's where I'm going to make this first tie. So I want to put this, uh, get this tied, and it's not tight. It is not tight. I've got enough room probably for two more tree trunks in here in this loop I'm making. So it's plenty of room to grow. See, it's loop. See that? Okay. So now I'm going to cut me another piece of twine and. Again, I'm going to double up on my twine, tie the two loose ends together, so I've got this doubled piece of twine. And I'm going to go up about three quarters of the way off the ground, about three quarters of the way up the tree, to tie the second piece of twine. This is going to hold all these this bushy top part of my citrus tree. Um, these. These fast growing trees, they get real top heavy, and uh, I, I, I do not want any damage to happen to this tree. This is a really valuable tree. And, uh, get this thing tied up, give it a good little shake. You can see that it's uh, pretty sturdy, it's not going anywhere. Nice, nice job there, and it's fast. Let's see, where's it? There it is. And now uh, we're going to get a quick measure here and see this tree right now, like I say, it's about six, maybe seven months old, uh, 41 inches, 41 inches tall this tree is right now. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, you know, take good care of the trees and the tree will grow. Well, that's it, man. Easy peasy. You can do it. Less than five minutes. See you around. Give me a shout.